Over the years, I've gathered a lot of hardwoods that I've found in the hopes that one day I would have enough to make something out of it. So I decided to have a look to see if I was going to have enough material to build another one of those tool chests that I've made in the past. So after going through the process of milling and planing, I was able to assess the, the amount of wood that I had and also through my drawings of the tool chests realized that I didn't have enough material to build another one. So I decided to go with a different design instead for this build. But while we're on the subject, I would like to share with you uh, some of the pictures I got back from uh, people that purchased and built the tool chests. So the first build here is by Joel Chappelle and uh, the wood that he used was two large walnut slabs that he found in the hayloft of one of his buddy's farm. Their best guess was that uh, his, the, his buddy's wife's great-grandfather put it there at some point. Uh, he did change the drawer layout from my blueprints. I uh, used uh, six drawers at the top instead of eight. He finished the box with a uh, blonde shellac and the red velvet in the interior. The wood has an amazing curl to it. Joel built this tool chest within a month and he says he was going to give the chest to his uh, friend family in a few weeks. So the second one here was built by Donald Beatty. This is the first set of picture that one of the people that built the tool chests uh, actually sent back to me. Donald built this tool chest for his brother and he said that his brother was blown away uh, by uh, the looks of it. Donald said it was a joy to make and he can't wait to make another one. So after the glue ups were done I had to size and thickness my parts and make sure they were square to get started with the dovetail assembly. After my ducktails were done, there was the one side of the chest that needed some epoxy fill, so I used some West system with some uh, black pigment. Now that the outer shell was dry fitted and it was square, it was time to put the, the layout for the inner divider and the back piece.
At this point, I'm milling the hardwood strips slots for the drawers. After sanding with the orbital sander, I went back and broke the edges and uh, sanded up to 180. Uh, this will allow the gel finish to actually get a nice dark color on the case because I, I wanted to have a darker color for the outer red oak. And my drawer, I was able to uh, select a few pieces, uh, enough pieces, I should say, to uh, do the, the front. So the front drawers are going to be white oak and the case is red oak. So before I start doing the uh, shellac, I need to seal the gel stain in order for it not to start kind of bleeding out or changing its sexual darkness. So I'm just going to put like a couple coats of lacquer and then uh, knock the high edges of the lacquer itself and then I'll be able to start applying a dark shellac on top of it. So I hope you enjoyed this reclaimed wood project as much as I did. 
Uh, just a little a few added information. Uh, the drawers have a platinum shellac on. Uh, the outer case I used a gel stain first and sealed it with a lacquer and then the color was Kona and then uh, I added some uh, amber shellac on top just to add to the, the actual contrast in color. Um, so what I'm going to be putting in here is mostly templates and jigs, the, the kind of stuff that just clutter my uh, work surface. So like uh, you've seen me uh, use those before. So some of you might be wondering if I'm going to make those prints available. Uh, I will not because the construction is a lot more basic than this one and you can basically change the construction or the, the, the layout of the drawers uh, any which way you, you like the same way as I showed earlier in the video. So I still have those prints available for a very small amount of money you can get your hands on them. If this helped my channel uh, just leave me uh, send me an email through the contact form down in the description below and uh, I can uh, send you a, a PayPal money request and then exchange the files this way. Uh, so once again I want to thank you all for stopping by watching this video. I really appreciate your time and until next time I wish you well.